here I've been here for about an hour and a half and the problem is that first unit has no keys so waiting to find out what dispatch wants to do um, kind of a pain in the butt so always when something's gonna go wrong it goes wrong so we're here just waiting should be off should be open pretty soon but uh Doing them coils and stuff wasn't that bad. Coils weren't much different than what I took out, so. Um, but that two inch leveling kit, man, that helped a ton. That brought that front end way up. No more bouncing. No more bouncing off them bump stops. So, let's get these, uh, get these loaded up once I hear from dispatch and what they want to do hopefully they'll just gonna run me some keys quick and uh, get these loaded up and get our way up there cuz I got to be at the alignment shop in a little a couple hours I'm probably gonna have to reschedule that but we'll see how it goes all right it is uh, it's Monday got another load kind of uh, been hit and miss lately we uh, got that other load delivered. Quick rant, it was delivered five minutes from the house. Um, so we dropped that off. And then we had to reschedule our alignment. But, look at, look at them. A little windy, so we'll make it quick. So we rescheduled our alignment, did our alignment. That's rocking and rolling now. That, that saved a big time. That two inches, uh, the leveling kit gets me off them bump stops and that was helping that was helping a lot so let's get out of this wind and we'll talk about what this one's doing all right now that we're out of the wind um let's talk about those missing keys for a minute if you've ran into this issue in the yards which apparently it's a new thing i don't know who decided to start doing this. I think it's an idiotic thing to do. Um, so that first unit on that last load, you see in the beginning of the video where I was missing keys, I wasn't missing keys. Apparently they decided to make a new spot for these and I'm sure some of you, if you're pulling, have ran into this issue already. Sounds like it's getting pretty frequent. They are zip tying the keys around the jack stand inside the A-frame up on the frame of the trailer. It's tucked away, you can't see it. I mean, it's... If they're going to keep doing that, uh, they should probably let some guys know because they owe me a couple hours of time for that bullshit. Um, when you're trying to load and it's dark out and stuff, you can't see what's going on. You know, the, uh, sorry about that. I had to cut for a second. I had to give a driver a hand getting into the yard. Um, but yeah, so if you're loading up any of these smaller ones, I don't know if they're doing it on the larger ones. Um, excuse me. Um, but on these really small ones, they've been putting, They've been putting the keys around the jack. And that first one, when I went to load it, well, I got to hold the office, and I said, it's fine. <clears throat> Mark it on the bills. And uh, load it up and take it up there. And as soon as I started pulling it on the trailer and got her up on the top deck, I noticed a set of keys sitting down in there. Um, I was like, what in the hell? Just whatever. So, 
wasted a bunch of time. Ran it up there, dropped it off. Um, next morning, went and did my alignment. Got that all squared away. That's a huge difference. That, so we put two brand new coils, um, and I compared them to the ones we took out. We thought those were sagging. There weren't much difference. Um, maybe, maybe the, uh, maybe loaded up. It wasn't able to hold the weight much as much as it could before. Um, so I don't know, but that, so we put that two inch blocks in there as well. And, uh, cause I was so close to the bump stops, you know, hitting these potholes and stuff that it was jarring the hell out of me and it was jarring the hell out of the truck. It was hard, hard hits. It's a lot better now. Bridge approaches are getting a lot better. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I should have done that a while ago. Um, but so that's squared away. And uh, we got down here. Like I said, today's Monday morning. We're just waiting for our uh, break to get over 10 hour. We got down here last night. Windy, pouring rain, cold. It's a little, a little cold for this time of year, but I found the loads. Well, I was going to go to bed, but screw it. Went and loaded it up, and uh, got my cable to work. My cable will come out all the way now. I can I can reach I can reach three units with this with this long cable. And the fourth unit, I just kind of put my wheel on and roll it up to the, where the third one was, and I can tug it all the way up to the trailer. So that's pretty cool. Um, but we got them all loaded up. Got in, got outside of the yard, shut her down for the for our break, and uh, give my give my clothes a chance to dry out. So we're getting a little wet. Um, so these are going to southern, it's almost south central Minnesota. Um, I emailed them Friday and asked them what they had, and uh, all they had was a couple going to Minnesota. Like I said, you know, in the previous videos, they're, they're pumping these units out, but when you take four at a time, man, we are knocking them out quick. The yard's getting pretty bare for these little ones. Single poles looks like it's uh, filling up a little bit, but um, it is just crazy slow still. I don't know what the deal is. Um <laughs> It's just kind of, it's hard. We used, I'm the type of guy, you know, I have, I have two weeks free now. I'd like to go run. Let's go make some money. I'll run out west, and, you know, make make five to five to eight grand, depending on where it's going for one run. You know, that's, that's where the money was supposed to be at, and it doesn't seem like that's happening much anymore. Um, so I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. RV industry seems to be booming down a little bit. You can still make money if you got a flatbed. You can still make money if you got single pull. You're not going to make a ton of money. We were making pretty real good money there for a while. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I got a. Uh, we're going to run this up. Um, it's going to take us all day to get up there, but we'll be able to get up there tonight. And. Uh, be ready to unload these first thing tomorrow morning and then uh, we'll see how it goes I'm going to look at some trucks tomorrow see if we can get a semi um, if I can get a semi with a flatbed that'll be nice because then when these keep going slow I can break off and do that for a little while you know so, we'll see how that goes, but uh, it's supposed to be windier in hell. It's been windier in hell the last couple days. You know, it's just every day it's windy, it's raining. It's the same down here, same as at home. It's just nasty out. Um, but we'll get these knocked out. We'll run these up, drop these off. Oh, so when I loaded these three up, I'm sure shit. The one in back had the keys inside in the envelope. The three in front of it had the keys, or no, 
the, the one in front of that one had the keys around the jack. The one in front of that one had the keys in the back kitchen area where they normally are. They're either inside in the packet or they're in the kitchen area. And then the one in front of that one had them around the jack. So you can tell there must be two lines coming out of coming out of the uh, factory. And one line's doing it one way and the other line's doing it the other way. And I don't like wrapping them around the jack because especially in cold weather, it don't take much for them for them zip ties to snap. And now you're dropping keys down on the fucking road while you're trying to bring them here. All the yard guys are delivering them to the yard. The keys are getting spread out on the roads. It doesn't make any sense. It's a dumb idea. Who's ever doing it, stop. But we'll get these uh We'll get these loaded, or not loaded. Sorry, I had a pop-up come up. I was reading it for a second. We'll get these uh, heading up there pretty soon. We'll knock these out tomorrow. We'll deliver them, and we are going to go look at a truck. Maybe we'll get some video of it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, little trucking company up in Minnesota. It looks like it's about... 20 minutes down the road from where I'm delivering, so that works out pretty good. I, I found them online and did a couple of trucks I was interested in. Um, it's not 100% what I want, but sounds like they just did an overhaul on the motor and it's a, it's a manual. A lot of trucks these days are automatics, and uh, some guys like it. I'm, I'm not, I drove them, I'm not a fan. I'm old school guy, I guess. If if you're driving a big rig, you better know how to drive a damn stick. You know, it's cheaper maintenance. It's cheaper to repair. You know, you know, at some point in time, you're gonna have to do some maintenance on that transmission, and there's no way around it that the manual is gonna be cheaper to work on. So we'll see how that goes. 